My name is Michael. I'm from uh, Bethany Baptist Church in Harwood Heights. I'm a, a deacon there. And um, today I just want to talk about a little, uh, a little bit about who I am and, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I became a Christian when I was 40 years old, and that was just about 10, it was 10 years ago. I'm 50 now. And um, before I was a Christian, I was pretty much uh, somebody who grew up in church. Um, I went through uh, all the Sunday schools and Awana, youth group even, and um, went to all the different uh, summer vacations and everything for uh, with all the other kids. And at one point I believed I was a Christian. I thought I gave my heart to the Lord, but it was never really a part of me after, um, after high school. I, I, just, I just never gave my heart fully to Christ. It was something I, I didn't do. Um, I lived uh, most of my life in just uh, uh, doing things that I wanted to do, uh, things that I thought would make me happy, uh, whether it be drinking, uh, girls. Um, the, the Ten Commandments, I definitely <laughs> uh, failed in all but the one, of course, which is murder. Um, even then, thought-wise, uh, maybe I even did that as well. So, I mean, I just everything I did, I, I was, it was affecting my family um, with the drinking and, and everything else and just, just not having a solid ground in my life. There was always something I was missing in my life. Uh, my wife uh, started attending church after her uh, mother had passed, and she already lost her father when she was 16 years old. And uh, so she was attending church for two years before me. And um, one thing I didn't know is that uh, she was praying for me. Uh, and the ladies at the church were praying for me at Bethany Baptist, too. And um, all of a sudden, I just started to feel this calling of, uh, of or a want to understand, to search. And so I started doing a lot of research. I started watching all these uh, debates and videos on, uh, on YouTube, and I started reading I read one book before um, I became a Christian, and now I have a whole library behind me here who, uh, of just books of uh, different Christian books I've read, and, and uh, I have atheist books and philosophy books and everything else. And so, in my search, I mean, I just started to really begin to feel that everything just was leading to God in my life, and that even to that point, um, I felt God just calling me. And one day I just gave in. Um, I felt God really touched my heart. I don't know. I can't explain. I can't explain it. I would say that God was like uh, being hit like a brick or something. And all of a sudden I just woke up. But it was more than that. It was kind of like this. I was just feeling um, like this storm hit me. Like this, this hail. This, these heavy drops of rain. Which was actually what it was. is It was like my sins of my life that I never looked at as something bad in my life and it just everything was hitting me and I just started crying and I just started to uh, ask you know praying at that moment asking God to forgive me for that sin and this sin and it's just all these things just kept raining down on me all these things I did in the past what I didn't know was wrong at least it was a lie I think I did know but I just covered it up um, I was good for that I'd always be smiling everyone see me as a guy who was a Mr. Smiley are always smiling and, and I wasn't that person in the inside. Um, but now uh, that I've come to accept Christ and who he is, now I have a full understanding. Um, I had to get remarried uh, in the church too because this love that I felt um, from Christ was something I wanted to share with my wife. And I just felt like, um, and my wife too, she agreed. Uh, we just didn't get married under God like we thought we did in the past, and this time we did, and it has so much more meaning now. I, I understand what what love is. I understand what truth is. I understand that there's meaning, and that um, I was created for a reason. And God has just put this hunger on me, this hunger to do something. I've been feeling it ever since I became a Christian. Um, I've always talked to people. I'm willing to talk to anyone, anywhere always um that's my wife even if she wants to go home she won't say nothing to me if i'm talking to somebody she'll sit she'll just wait till i'm done 
she knows that uh, it's really strongly on my heart. And I felt this this calling to do something for Revive. Um, I, I've been feeling it for the last two years, just something that uh, God wants me to do to reach out to people, to reach out to the churches in some way, somehow. And um, this is something that's just really been heavy, heavy on my heart. Um, I really feel that, um, look, you know, when you go to church, um, I just I just get this feeling sometimes that the church is sleeping sometimes. I feel like uh, the people really just aren't looking at Christ and who he is. They're not looking at, uh, I shall love my God with all my heart and soul, that I shall, that he's asking us to pray unceasingly. I just, I just didn't see this happening in the church all around. Maybe I was missing it. Maybe I'm Maybe uh, maybe it's just me, but um, I feel like we would see so much more if everyone in the church just really began to dig deep into his word, dig deep into prayer, and just really start to get that hunger from God uh, building up in them, and that they would do something for his kingdom and his glory while we live on this earth. We're looking, we have this hope within us to get to heaven, but there's something now, there's something more that I really feel we need to be doing. And um, we can't do it on our own. We can't. We need prayer from our brothers, from our sisters. We need more uh, a oneness, a one in spirit. We really need to be working together. And so my hope is that we, as Christians, would begin to pray for each other more, for the churches, for our leaders, for our pastors. And I just really feel so strongly about that. That is my hope and prayer. And so Revive is uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, I just need your help, your prayers. And um, if you can give towards this, it would be awesome. Uh, it would be really awesome if I can get uh, 80,000 people to donate at least $1. Um, so if you could share this on all of your um, uh, social media, that would be really gracious and it would help us out. We don't need these bigger bands, so we don't need to raise that money. But... I feel like that we will get it. I think God will provide that we'll be able to have at least a couple bigger bands and we'll have uh, these churches together playing as one in, in this event. And it's one day outdoor event. And so please, um, please help us out. And uh, thank you for your time.